everyone and uh, welcome to the channel if you're new here my name is Mohammed. we continue our training and the preparation for elastic certified engineer uh, or engineer exam and today with uh, a new topic we will see or we will define uh, a template for data stream we will see first uh, in the documentation <coughs> what's uh, or we will see the definition of the uh, data stream when we need to use it or when we can use it and how it works behind the scene then we will jump to our environment and we define um, uh, uh, one example for uh, data stream or for data stream uh, template right so well, the definition of uh, the data stream as the documentation said is <clears throat> it lets you store uh, time series data across multiple indices while giving you a single name resource for requests. I mean, it will behind the scene create multiple indices, and the only condition is, or one of the conditions is time series, or you, uh, you have you have timestamp or time series data, and data stream uh, well suited for uh, logs, uh, metrics, events, telemetries, and so on and so forth. Uh, all the data that we are collecting from our infrastructure, from our applications. It's uh, really good to uh, use um, uh, the data stream. When <clears throat> we are allowed or when we need to use the data stream, uh, like the first condition is when we have the timestamp field. This is the first uh, condition. And um, if we, like we are indexing the, the document, whatever, like using Elastic, we using Elastic Agent or Beats or whatever, like the, the source of the uh, indexing or the way how we are indexing data. But the most imp important thing is like we, um, uh, like from our end, like we create visualization, we submit a search aggregation. We don't manipulate thus this, uh, this, uh, this, this logs or this metrics. And finally, uh, a document um, like uh, we don't have or we don't need uh, need an ID. Uh, the data stream uh, will automatically assign um, an ID for it. Uh, now for the uh, the indices, <clears throat> this is like how we how it works. For example, we start with the first one. So here, um, like uh, the third or the seventh uh, March, and then it will create another one and another one and so on and so forth. So this is like. Um, uh, behind the data stream like you see the data stream here but uh, behind like it's creating a new uh, let's call it a data stream for or data stream index for um, um, a new one uh, every time uh, now the read also you don't need to submit uh, uh, your uh, read request on each index you submit it to the data stream and data stream behind the scene we go and uh, read from the from the uh, from the indices uh, writing index um you know we said like it's the this is the uh, this is the way like we have data stream and here we have um the uh, the data stream indices every time we have uh, open index like we we write we write the new logs or new metrics or new data on this new index and we move on like if we like next day or if we create a new uh, data stream index we will move it to the new uh, we will start writing here and this one and this one will just be uh, read only this is what uh, it's explained here right um, with that being said let's jump to uh, our um, environment so there is two ways as uh, um, as the other thing we saw like you can create it uh, or you can create the template from here uh, or you can uh, use the uh, devops tools we're gonna use the uh, the devops tools so let me just let me just move this and uh, we don't need it let me remove everything all right so what we're gonna do now is um, uh, we saw previously how we create the uh, the uh, the template, right? So we we put index index template and we give we give a name of the uh, of the template, right? And let me just go back first to the uh, to the stack management and show you where we can see our uh, uh, indices. So if we go here to the um, uh, to the uh, to the indices here. If you click on this hiding, so this will be uh, this, for example, will be the data stream, right? So if you see here data stream, it will be here. If you click, it will give you the details of this uh, data stream, right? And this is the uh, if we click again on the data stream, you will be able to find it here. You click and you see um, you see the details of this uh, data stream, like 
um, the template and the lifecycle. If we go to the template, you will find the, uh, the summary, right? Every index uh, match this pattern uh, will uh, we'll, uh, we'll use this template. The same settings is mapping alias. It's, for sure it's empty here, but if we have something here, then it's normal template. Uh, it will, <coughs> it will, um, it will use it, right? Um, here we go. Let's go to the now to the console again or the dev tools, right? Um, here we go. So if we will define the index pattern first index patterns right if it's it's much uh, we will see or we will go with logs uh, like this right and then we will call that a stream sorry not a stream there we go Then we will create the uh, template for settings and the mapping, right? So I will go with, I will go with template like this. Then here, as we saw previously, settings. So here, number I can define the number of shards. Number of, I'll just go with number of shards, like this. I will give it one. See it. Let me just add a comma here. Perfect settings and for the mapping. Also, I will add. I will add the mappings here. For the mapping, we have properties, right? Then we go. Um, uh, for sure, you don't need to remember all of this. Again, you will be able to have the access to the. Um, uh, to the documentation, so you can <clears throat> you can click here on the documentation, and you uh, will be able to uh, find a few examples. Then you can uh, copy paste. I'm just showing you or writing here, like to give you the examples. But for you, like uh, you can uh, you can come in here and uh, you can copy paste uh, examples here, or uh, um, uh, like or you copy part, like you whatever like you need. Right, so you don't need to type or to memorize the uh, the syntax. Right, so here I will start with the first field. We said this timestamp is uh, the first or one one of the uh, conditions. So we should have a timestamp. So here, this is the field, and this is the type of the field. It's date, right? And I will just add another field. I will call it, um, let's say, uh, message. I give it, I give it type text, right? Here we go. Now let's run and see if we have. Here we go. It's acknowledged now. If we want now to um, create a data stream, right? So it's like this. This is the template. So this is the request. Uh, let's say this. This is the scenario from the exam. <coughs> You respect the naming like they ask you to do and you you respect also the scenario like whatever they put you in the settings the mapping in the template you put it and you respect it then uh, for you like to make sure that you are uh, correct right so here i will call data stream and here we said like every uh, index starts with this right so this should be uh, should be working give me one second All right, let's let's uh, let's post the document first. Data stream. Yes, one second. So it's oh sorry. So it will be. Yeah, sorry. Here I put I put it logs without s. That's why it didn't work. Give me one second. This should be working. Perfect. So yeah. And this log uh, up it so as you can see it's already here we can uh, we can check it let me let's get the 
Ah, here we go. If we run, so here it's uh, the, this is the mapping and this is the settings. Right, this is the uh, the ELM as well. As you can see, it's currently in Darahot. It's take the uh, the configuration. This is the name of uh, of the uh, of the uh, data stream index. Let's index our first. So as you can see here, we just call in the data stream. We don't uh, we don't call the index. Right? We don't need to point at the uh, as the um, um, as the index to be able to uh, to write. So here, I will give for example uh, this field. So I give times stamp like this. Or just copy paste the value from here. So here we go. And for the message as well, I will type the message like this. And here I give the message user or user login attempt. This is just an example fail right? or fails or failed. Yeah. Here we go. So if I run here, it's created. This is our index, and this is how you confirm. And there is the uh, the other way. Like if you can also come here to the data stream, and you see that we have a data stream. If you click, you will find um, the details, right? If you want also to check the index, you click here, and you uh, show the hidden index. So here, log up. This is our data stream, and this is our uh, our index. With that being said, we get to the end of this video. Let me know in the comment section if you have any question. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.